everything you know is wrong. Maybe. Well, really, not everything you know is wrong. My point there is it all could be. For all we know, we're a bunch of brains in jars being given simulated instructions on reality, right? But that's a little too extreme for the point I'm making. It's just to set the tone. What I'm really trying to get at here is that we, as people, me included, all of us, we can only know what we think we know. And yes, that's blindingly obvious, but at the same time, it's so missed by so many people that it's probably one of the most obvious things I've ever said as Captain Obvious. Yes, we don't know everything. We can't know everything, and we never will probably know everything to conclusion. What this means is that we need to take everything we believe in with a little grain of salt at the very least. Maybe a bigger one, depending on what we're talking about. But I could be wrong with everything I've told you in every video I've made. I could be dead wrong. I don't know. I don't think I'm wrong. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting here telling you this stuff. But I could be. And I have the maturity to admit it, that I could be wrong on every single thing I believe, understand, and say. I don't think so, again, but I could be. But so could you. So could anyone. So could everyone. That is something we all need to grasp and understand and internalize. Not that we're always wrong or always doubt everything, but you should at least a little. But moderation, wink. Because, well, there's nothing lost by questioning things. There's nothing lost by sitting there saying, what if I'm wrong? Everyone sits there and says, oh no, oh no, I can't be wrong about this. This is what I believe, right? Well, take a step back from it. You believe it. You believe it. That's a very important set of words there. Doesn't mean you know it. Doesn't mean you understand it, grasp it, gather it, or even comprehend it. It means you believe it. And maybe all those other things fit in there too with how you believe it. But in honesty, it is merely a belief. Before you think I'm talking about just religion here, I'm talking about anything you could believe in. Whether it's science, religion, anything. Especially science. Science is a great point for this. Which is, a hundred years ago, what we thought about chemistry, bunk now, basically. I mean, there's a few key details that stick there as truth, but so much of it has changed since we begun. I mean, look a thousand years ago at history and science and what it was saying then. Completely different from now, isn't it? And a thousand years from now, it will be completely different yet again. The things we have discussed here as revolutionary ideas, perhaps, the things that we believe are true and understood will be revealed to be completely different, perhaps. We didn't have an idea of what we were talking about. Quantum physics, we might have no idea how it works at all, and a theory a hundred years from now proves that our fundamental understanding of the universe was crap. This, to me, is a very good thing. This is an enlightening thing to sit there and understand the first core truth of the universe, which is, we don't understand. Yeah, it really is that simple. That is the core, most fundamental truth we can grasp of this universe. We don't grasp it. Anyone who sits there and says, I've got it all figured out, well, they're lying to you. Or they're deluding themselves. Either way, it's not healthy. No one, no one has it all figured out. No one. I don't. You don't. And especially not those people who say they do. They're lying. They have something to gain from making that claim. I guarantee it. What am I getting at here? What am I getting at, right? Why am I sitting here saying that we don't know anything? We're all ignorant, right? Well, that's not quite the point. The point here is that we shouldn't yell at other people and say, you just don't get it and I get it, or you're just wrong. Well, you don't know. You can tell them, I think you're wrong. You can say, well, based on this evidence, based on blah, whatever, I think you're wrong. But the moment you stand up and say, I know you are wrong, absolutely, because of X, Y, or Z, and stand there on some soapbox, high and mighty, that's where you've kind of condescended to someone. You've moved past making statements and gone right into arrogance. Because when you claim to understand all that is, or even a bit of what actually is going on, it is arrogance. I can sit here and tell you, I think I've got it. I think I know what's going on. These are my thoughts to you, right? But I'm never going to sit here and say, this is absolutely, definitively true, above all else forever. That this thing, whatever it is, must be true as is. I'll never do that. And if I do, I'm wrong. Put that right there, I'm wrong. Because no one can know truly everything, or really anything. But instead of taking that as a negative, take it as a positive. All that means is that everything is there to be discovered. 
Everything is there to be discovered or rediscovered. It's all about the more you know, right? That old contrite little saying, the more you know. That's what this is actually all about. When you can sit there and say you don't know, that is the first step to actually knowing something. When you sit there and say you already know it, you're complete then, right? You already know it. You'll never learn anything more. So always keep in mind that little point of the more you know. So keep knowing new things. Something old, maybe you'll poke at it one time and discover something brand new. Just because you looked again and you decided to question just for a moment. Hey, what if that isn't how that works? What if it's something else? You would have no idea how many scientific discoveries come from that one thought. Hey, what if this isn't true, but instead that? Let's try it out. Seems like a flight of fancy. You know, everyone says the Earth's flat. How could it not be flat? But it isn't. And maybe that's what we're at right now with various issues in different times and places. We're claiming all around the Earth is flat when it isn't. Of course, we're not saying the Earth is flat quite literally, but that could be any number of claims we have today in science, technology, anything. It could all be the equivalent of another the Earth is flat style claim. And you could be the one, perhaps, to sit there and say, but no, that's wrong, and I know why. And then change the world just because you decided to question something a little more than other people. That is why the fact that we know nothing is so brilliant and wonderful, because that means one day we could know it. Just something to think about. I'm wasting time here talking to your face with filler words repeatedly, you know?